Hello everybody, I'm back again. This time what we're gonna do is uh, route the HTC Inspire 4G. In fact, the phone that I have with me at, at this point of time is the AT&T Inspire 4G and I'm gonna uh, try and use this phone with a Vodafone uh, SIM card. So I, I need to SIM unlock the phone. So essentially what, what, what the intention of this tutorial is to achieve would be to basically unlock uh, the phone and to to get super user rights by routing the phone all right uh, what what I'm gonna do today is use the the ace tool from uh, xdadevelopers.com and uh, I'm gonna run you through the steps of uh, routing the phone uh, using the ace tool from xda all right, uh, we're gonna get started here. Okay, uh, first things first, we need to do two things uh, before we start. We need to go to settings and we need to ensure that the phone is in charge only mode and the phone is definitely in USB debugging mode. So this, this is, a these are two settings that we need to ensure that the phone is before we begin and uh, I, I do not have a sim card inserted in the phone at the moment I'm gonna uh, run through the process without a sim card inserted in the phone uh, I, I have read the manual and uh, it definitely insists that the USB cable is connected to the back of your computer tower where um, you have the USB ports which are directly connected to your motherboard. All right. All right. Uh, I'm at the xdadevelopers.com uh, website and uh, we are currently on the thread uh, where HTC Inspire 4G Advanced Hack Kit is uh, posted and uh, well, there's a lot of information here. Uh, it is definitely advisable. The op insists that you read the entire thread before you start. You definitely read the manual. Uh, I have downloaded uh, the, the the software uh, that that we're going to use to uh, route the phone today uh, from this website and uh, to save time. I'm going to run through the process. I'm going to download the software once again. Uh, quickly and uh, definitely read through the entire thread before you start right uh, I have already downloaded the, the zip file here and I have unzipped it uh, we have all the files installed here and the first and foremost the most important thing that you should be doing is uh, reading this particular file I have it open out here this is the manual and it, it basically tells you what, what, what is going to happen to your phone, what are the steps it's going to run through and what you need to do before you run it, how you run it and what, what's going to happen after the, the software runs. All right. Uh, to prepare, uh, I mean, something that you need to do before you start is basically uh, disable your antivirus and uh, disable any kind of firewall or any kind of, uh, you know, uh, softwares that, that could probably, you know, uh, <clears throat> clash or probably you know result in a conflict with uh, this this particular tool here so what I want to do here is I'm gonna um, first uh, turn off Windows firewall and uh, as you guys can see I'm gonna do that it's gonna take a second it doesn't want me to do that <laughs> all right and uh, I, I am running a mask out here so I am gonna Disable the mast, and yes, it's disabled now. All right. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly, yeah, I'm gonna quickly uh, go through the steps here. All right. I have a, a, a SD card installed in the phone already, and uh, it's it's completely blank. It's a brand new phone, so there there is no data. Uh, let me uh, give you the disclaimer right now. Uh, there, there could be data loss. Chances are that there would be a data loss if you if you run through the steps here, 
and uh, I, I would not be responsible or uh, any any website depicted in this particular video tutorial video uh, would not be responsible for uh, breaking of your phone uh, I, I, I would I would just go and throw out this disclaimer to all my viewers that uh, if, if you are um, going to the uh, if you're going through the steps of uh, you know, uh, routing this uh, routing your phone using this software uh, I'm sure you you are aware of the circumstances and the consequences all right. uh, what we need to do here is install the the software op wants you to install the software from win drivers folder I'm running windows 7 here so I'm going to use a run as administrator option I would rather disconnect my phone when installing the software and once the software is installed I'm going to once again reconnect the phone Uh, it's it's of primal importance that you read the manual and uh, uh, you read the prerequisites and you read the preparation you need to uninstall softwares that might result in a conflict with uh, the tool HTC driver installer is running right now it's, it's trying to install the the USB drivers for the HTC Inspire 4G now uh, See, it's, it's it's very important that we go through this step. I mean, I I just could have you know installed the driver, but I insisted that do it with in the video because uh, if the driver is not properly installed, your phone will not be properly read uh, by the software by the computer, and uh, you know it, it might result in a breaking scenario. I mean, nobody wants that. I mean, uh, we just want to go that extra mile to ensure that everything is. Is, is in line all right and now that we have the driver problem sorted out uh, we're going to run the ace hack tool from the command prompt that uh, is provided with the software so what i'm going to do once again is uh, do a right click click on run as administrator the command prompt uh, i'm sorry uh, say user prompt I, and uh, I'm just going to maximize the screen. All right, ask uh, for the pass key. And we're going to go back to the manual once again. I have it open here. And uh, we click on this. Provides the pass key. We need to copy this. And paste it here. Uh, ensure that there is no space, no space after the pass key and hit enter. Gives you the options. Uh, there are multiple options, but in order to uh, root the phone and un uh, do a SIM unlock, all you need to do is just press one and hit enter. And uh, as I told you that this is a one-stop shop so basically you don't need to do anything else all you need to do is just wait this is going to take about four five minutes and uh, uh, the, the the software is going to run prompt command prompt and uh, after this process is over uh, we would have uh, we would have the phone unlocked and we would have the phone rooted Uh, working the phone.
Don't worry about it. Uh, the software is working on the phone. for a lot of wait time almost at 90 percent mm -hmm. phone is rebooting HTC uh, seems like so far so good <laughs> you can see the prompt on the right hand side of the screen uh, computer screen my HTC device driver successfully installed mm -hmm. one seems to be booting up now it goes blank again <laughs> mm -hmm. is that comforting we gotta wait and see <laughs> gotta wait and watch mm -hmm. alright software is going funny there major abracadabra going on <laughs> please be patient it's running magic on the phone well, just to let you know um, the two main reasons of uh, running the software on this phone is to uh, chiefly uh, you know mainly sim unlock the phone and secondly to enable root 
root is uh, super admin rights okay. again lets you use uh, uh, software which requires super admin rights on the phone I just uh, install the clockwork clockwork mode. Uh, so basically, uh, you would have the recovery mode, the three E recovery mode. STC shows up. Uploading the radio. essentially does is basically downgrade the radio uh, to use and exploit and, uh, and again puts everything back to normal once the procedure is over I guess you can see the reflection of the ceiling fan <laughs> There's my Samsung on the table. All right. It's GC coming back once again. Phone is definitely getting a lot hotter. <laughs> CPU is working a lot. Mm -hmm. Alright, need to press any key to continue. Quietly brilliant. And everything possible. All right, uh, phone has been rooted and uh, there's no SIM card in the phone. So basically phone has been rooted and it is now uh, SIM unlocked. So basically any any uh, SIM card would work on the phone. Uh, I'm gonna use a Vodafone SIM on the AT&T HTC in, uh, Inspire 4G. So that's, that's all from my side. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer. Thank you.